So you've been doing your work, you've been working out all the problems, you feel you have a good command of the subject matter, you're ready to take an exam. In other words, you've, cha you've checked this daily schedule and looking at the schedule, you find that every once in a while there's a due date for an exam with the blue on this schedule. So before that due date, uh, you want to take the exam and the exam is officially due on that date at the close of business at the one of the testing centers uh, whether it be Huntsville or Decatur. There will be four exams over each of the sections of this material. So first exam over the first section, second over the second section and so forth. The final will be just another exam over the last stuff that we cover and so it's just a fourth exam. It's not comprehensive. It's over the material we cover right before that. The exams are worth 75 percent and you have to be able to do it uh, at the testing center so you won't be at home. Uh, it won't be like the quizzes where you could do whatever in order to succeed with the quizzes. Um, the exams must be proctored and you must be on your own being able to work out problems um, on your own volition. So, what you take in with you, let's see, let's take a look at uh, this exam folder here. So you're going to go into one of these testing centers and the times are on one of these lists here. I believe the Huntsville Center is open uh, Monday through Thursday, uh, close at 6.30. These may change over time, so uh, check. Uh, to see what the current times is. Uh, the Cater Center might even be open on Friday until uh, 11.30 in the morning. So, but check these times to make sure. Um, and there are maps in here. Here's the location of the Decatur Center in this um, uh, building here, the testing building and adult education in this corner of the building on Highway 31. So, you go in there you give them your name and instructor and you might have to fill out a, the initial time a, a form uh, with all your information and you're allowed, you're given the exam, you're allowed a 4 by 6 formula card and um, a calculator, a basic calculator, not a graphing calculator, not one that has a big screen, not anything that can take a picture or store formulas or anything like that, I don't want those calculators. So you are going to have to invest in one of these seven dollar calculators at Target. Um, I like this one as a solar calculator. It's got all the scientific functions I need and um, and it, battery will never go bad. Uh, seven bucks at Target or Walmart and um, invest in one of those. I don't want the graphing calculator. I don't want anything that can take pictures. In fact, you won't be allowed to take your cell phone in with you to the uh, testing point. You're going to have to leave that with your bag at the front. Uh, you c cell phones can store pictures and information and, and whatnot, and we don't want that there. So only your formula card, your basic calculator, and you and the test. So what, uh, what's involved in the test? Once you're taking the test, my test, the very first page and what I have here is a, um, um, a student just took a, a makeup test. The very first page is matching. So there are 10 items over here, 10 items over here, and you match these 10 items. Um, and two points per match, 20 points for the page. So that's the first page of the test. Second page, there's uh, two multiple choice questions. So the answers are actually there. Um, all or nothing though. So I just, I'm just going to grade them. They're basic questions that you really should know if you are in physics and, and at just the very basic level you should be able to do these multiple choice questions. So you work them out, choose the right answer, 10 points. Hopefully you have 20 points well in hand there. So you got 20 points from the matching, 20 points from the multiple choice, 40 points well in hand going into the word problem section. In the word problem section, there are six word problems. 
and they're similar to the types of problems you might see in the problem sets where they, there's a word problem A, B, C in this case um, 10 points per word problem I have them situated uh, the first two are probably as I imagine it kind of easy second two are kind of medium hard and the last two are hard so six problems, 10 points each partial credit, I have a method for my partial credit which I'm not going to divulge right now, but it's worked so far. And I have a way of figuring out uh, what kind of partial credit you deserve. So, 100 points on the test, 20 on the matching, 20 on the multiple choice, two problems there, and then six problems, 10 points each on the problem section, 100 points. And I will tack on a seventh problem, which is an extra credit problem. It's only worth five points and it's probably harder than maybe the rest of the test combined. It's a seventh multiple, uh, not multiple choice, uh, extra credit problem, and it's just there to challenge those of you who may not have been challenged by the rest of the test, who need something more to challenge them. So, an extra credit problem, you can work it out. Sometimes people find that the extra credit problem is easier for them to do than one of the other problems in the problem section. So you can uh, supplant one of those other problems with your extra credit problem if you wish. Possible 105 points then on the exam if you include the extra credit problem. So you work it out at the testing center, usually about two hour time limit, and then you hand it in there and they will they'll make sure that I get your test. And you can do this anytime before the testing deadline. So you want to check the testing deadline and you want to walk in at least two hours before the last time because they won't let you start a test if you don't have enough time to do it before they have to close. So you have to walk in at least two hours before the end of the testing center deadline and uh, do your test and hand it in to them um, and get it done. So that's what the uh, exams are all about. And uh, if you have any questions, um, start a discussion thread and we can investigate it there.